Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. You can find this latest local forecast as well on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram feeds, as well as WSKITV.com, so you can know before you go. It's looking like a decent week. Hopefully some much-needed rain comes into our area on Monday. We'll see mostly cloudy skies with showers out there. High temperatures, uh, 60 to 64. Overnight lows, just about the same with a northeast uh, wind. Barely noticeable, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So get out there, have that uh, wet weather gear handy in case you get stuck in a couple downpours. Mostly cloudy skies for the day on uh, Tuesday. We'll see a high of 68 degrees, overnight lows in the lower 60s, northeast wind around 5 miles an hour, and some showers likely throughout the day. Some kind of spotty, so yeah, it's kind of hit or miss out there. And then the extended forecast, we'll see that sunshine once again. Partly sunny skies for Wednesday, the first day of July. We'll see a 60% chance of shower out there high of 70 degrees and an overnight low of 60 degrees most of these showers happening in the afternoon mostly sunny skies on thursday 30 percent chance of afternoon showers warms up for a high of 80 degrees overnight low of 58 and mostly sunny skies on friday july 3rd with a high of 70 degrees and overnight low around 50 degrees if you're looking for some indoor activities check out the anti-gravity complex monday through saturday 6 to 10 a.m and 3 to 8 p.m and there is some new rules that are being enforced so be aware of that mountain bike trail conditions the trails are in great shape some rain would be great to keep the dust down but uh, if you want to get out there and enjoy it you can also go down to carabasset valley bike and rent a bike he's got some great affordable rentals down there as well as some great just knowledge he'll tell you where you need to go to have the best experience out there carabasset valley youth paddling program is coming up ages 10 through 17th or uh, ages 10 through 7 uh, 17 and there's a bunch of dates there weekly 15 bucks for that and the group is limited to uh, 10 the ATV trails also are in great shape a couple closures on the Canyon Trail uh, to take note of during the weekdays but you can still get up to Quill Hill via the Stratton Rangeley Trail so uh, put that on your list. It's a great destination. Some great views up there. As well as Dog Not Gone Visibility Projects products. Check out their items if those black flies and ticks and mosquitoes are making you bug out. Ice cream windows open at Flagstaff General Store. Summer is here. They've got 24-7 gas, some great food specials throughout the day as well. You can order online. Uh, they've got just about everything there, a little bit of everything, something for everyone there at uh, Flagstaff General Store, as well as Fodder's Market and Hardware, all your uh, grocery needs right there, fresh food fish up from the coast every Thursday and they do offer curbside delivery as well if you don't want to go in the store. If you're looking for breakfast, Looney Moose Cafe, they serve breakfast and lunch 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday and they're also doing dinners to go so call ahead for that takeout order. Go on their Facebook page. You can uh, scope out some of their great food items. Country Mutt, Pet Supplies and Grooming right down in Kingfield. They've got uh, their hours here as listed. They're closed on Sundays, but uh, they've got everything for your pet needs, including grooming and boarding. Be sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where we hang out, as well as our website, WSKITV.com, where you can find this latest local forecast uh, throughout the week as well. And just want to let you know, this summer may be a little different, so please do uh, your part out there to enjoy our area while being safe, responsible, and mindful of others.